Hello everyone, welcome to Manara's channel. Today I am making lush pineapple soap and I'm using some frozen pineapple juice, lye, some hard butters and some oils. I'm also going to be using some zeolite clay for exfoliating properties, some turmeric, mica, some lush succulent fragrance from brambleberry, that's my turmeric and my mica and then a green pigment mica for color. Make sure to suit up for safety and let's begin. You want to start by adding a little at a time your lye, which is your sodium hydroxide, into your frozen pineapple juice. I already pre-made my pineapple juice and froze it in the freezer. Once it's all melted, you want to check the temperature I am soaping at a very, very low degree, below 100 for my lye. You want to add your natural oils into your melted butters. And my temperature is around 102 degrees Fahrenheit. I also added a bit of sodium lactate into my lye solution so that my soap can mold faster. This is totally optional, but I decided to go ahead and strain my lime mixture. Once you've strained the lime mixture, start mixing this mix. And I'm trying to make sure my trace doesn't start to speed up, so I'm working with fairly liquid trace. I do not want my soap to trace fast. Using a stand mixer, bring your batter to a light emulsification. You might need to use your whisk and slightly move from whisk to a stand mixer. Keep mixing till you get to light trace. Now I'm adding my fragrance. For this design, I am doing the drop swirl technique. And you want to put a little split is soap into three. First of all, you're going to put it in bottles, two different bottles. And in goes the gold mica with the turmeric and the green. Shake the bottles and put them aside. To the main batch, you're going to add your green zeolite clay and you're just going to whisk all that in. Once your green zeolite clay is well mixed, I go in there with my mixer just to give it a nice mix all together just to be sure it's all mixed in. I'm also adding a little bit of titanium dioxide which is oil soluble titanium dioxide to my green zeolite mixture. I stick blend one more time and I'm ready to pour. Get your mold ready and then go ahead and pour a good amount of your green zeolite clay mixture, about half of your mold. Go ahead and take the bottles of colors on the side and be careful while you open them so they do not splash into your eyes. Go ahead and make little drops of each color horizontally from one side to the other. You can use different colors for this. Now 
make sure to keep shaking your bottles to mix everything if it does get a little too thick now you keep doing that until you finish your colorants and I'm using two colors the green and the orange I'm also going to add a little bit of my zeolite mixture or zeolite soap just to give me a different shade of colors for the top keep doing that till all your soap is finished and go ahead and give the top a little design swirl design alright it's that easy wait for 24 hours or more and unmold your soap cut your soap into small bars and let it cure for four to six weeks and it's ready to use i hope you enjoyed this video please like this video for more videos and subscribe if you're new Give me a thumbs up, comment, like the video, and share, and watch my other videos. Thank you.